Hey guys, Todd here from ToddRecommends.tv bringing you another video as always. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, but this one's an interesting video. It's been taking me a couple weeks uh, to actually get it right in my head. Um, it started on my live stream, but it is basically how does Apple continue after OS X? We've been with OS X now since March of 2001, and we're currently at 10.5.5, uh, which is Leopard. And the next iteration of OS X is going to be Snow Leopard, which is out due out sometime next early 2009, something like that. We don't know for sure yet. Uh, basically, some thoughts to me, and it's basically thoughts to you guys, also my subscribers, or whoever's watching this video, if you have a comment to leave, please leave it below. Um, is basically, when does Apple give up OS X? I mean, it, to move on to another operating system, like Windows, they're every other two years, three or four years, or however, you know, five years, I guess, they switch to a whole new operating system or whatever. You know, we had, we had 95, 98, you know, et cetera, to Vista now. But I mean, Apple's not like that. They stick with one OS and they continue to build on that OS to make it a great OS, which OS X is. Um, basically some notes that I had here, are they gonna go to OS 11? Or, I mean, what's gonna go on here? But basically some things I, feel that maybe this is time to give OS X up is if OS X is cracked a lot or hacked now it's becoming a popular OS it's starting to contend with Windows and you know hackers are going to start coming along <clears throat> trying to hack this just like they did Windows we're not there yet but it, it could we could see it in the future since Apple has been growing another point is uh, basically continue on with this when Mac becomes too popular um, I hope it doesn't become too mainstream because I like being the odd guy. I've said this before in many of my videos. A lot of people really want OS X to be out there and compete with Windows and be, you know, on everybody's machine. Me, I like being the oddball. I like being, you know, the, the person that doesn't fit in because I don't really fit in with a lot of people. I'm weird and an outcast, which you guys should know this by now. Um, another thing is Apple switches from the Mac platform to a new Mac pl platform with different apps. And people want to know is, will the old apps work with the new ones? Usually when they do a new OS, they do write for the, the old ones to work on the new ones. But going here to Snow Leopard, or when they went to Leopard, some of the stuff on PowerPC when they went to Intel Macs don't work. Um, they're kind of, you know, leaving it behind and starting to grow. You know, it's a new stuff. Um, basically, I think Apple needs to switch, when they switch maybe to a new OS, like a new system or Unix are based and they're going to rewrite the whole thing. I think what they got currently is great and they should just keep continue building from what they got, personally. Um, basically my last point was if it becomes less secure from hackers, I mean tying into hackers again, is if OS X really becomes an operating system with a lot of holes in it, that, I mean because there's a lot of holes out there that we don't know about because they don't really have to worry about them, that's why they've been doing little patches here and there, they're not like Windows throwing patches at you every damn week or whatever. But I mean, I think maybe if they do get over, overly hacked and gets rather right holes, I think Apple will take care of it, and I think we'd be fine. But that's just some things that I had. Um, basically, some main points. I mean, this is a really hard video to get across. I mean, where, how does Apple... I just basically wanted to bring it up and see what other people think. Because, I mean, we're so set in the mind right now of OS X. It's been with us for so long now. But I, I want to know from you guys, what do you think? Uh, where do we go from, from after OS X? OS 11, or do we keep going? Uh, please feel free to leave your video response, your comments, send me an email at toddrecommends at gmail.com. Um, always head on over to toddrecommends.tv where you can catch my live stream, blog posts, other things. Other than that, guys, um, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and make sure to wear a turtleneck, and make sure to always eat green things, and take your vitamins. Till next time. Hey guys, Todd here with another video for you. This one is one that I've been thinking about for a few weeks now. It's basically, how does Apple continue after OS X? We've been, you know, OS X has been around, around now for, I believe it's since 2000 or 2001. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section. Um, I didn't look it up beforehand. Uh, but anyway, that's not the point. It's basically, where do we go from OS X? Um, we're at 10.5.5, I believe, just recently, and uh, the next, you know, coming of OS X is upon us, which is Snow Leopard. Right now, we're currently in Leopard, and 
I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. Ty here with the. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> hey guys, Todd here with another video for you from ToddRecommends.tv as always. Um, basically this is a video that I've been had in my mind for a few weeks now and it's taken me this long kind of to get it right in my head. Uh, but anyway, it came about through my live stream is how does Apple continue after OS X? We have been with OS X now since uh, March of 2001 is when they released the first um, 10.0. So where does, I mean the next uh, version of OS X is going to be coming out here called Snow Leopard which is due out next year sometime. So I mean basically I had some questions here and it's basically an open ended question is to you guys too. What, what do you guys think? will be when is OS 10 done I mean like seriously do they move on to OS 11 or what but basically here's some things that I thought would we need to um, the next iteration of OS 10 or OS 11 whatever what where does Apple go from here basically if OS 10 gets cracked a lot by hackers I mean now it's OS 10 starting to become a big um, kind of not too big but it's competing now with you know Windows and stuff like that um, oh, fuck. <coughs> hey guys, Todd here with another video for you from ToddRecommends.tv. Alright, this one is a bit of an open-ended question. Um, is basically, how does Apple continue after OS X? Uh, we've been with OS X now since March of 2000. <laughs> really, you, you gotta be doing this to me. Take two.